Hi, welcome back to the warm-up series. If you're coming to this through the YouTube channel, these videos are designed for my students to have a guide through some of the warm-ups we use in lessons. If you're interested in lessons, head on over to autopercussion.com to find out more. Today we're going to be doing timing patterns from 60 to 140 beats per minute, increasing 4 beats per minute each time through the exercise. That's just enough to feel the tempo change without it being overwhelming. One of the big objectives of this exercise is to help develop our natural or dominant hand sticking. That means that throughout the exercise, all of the numbers and ands will be played with your dominant hand, and the e's and uhs will be played with your non-dominant hand. From this point on, I'm going to refer to that as right hand and left hand, but of course, lefties feel free to flip this. We start with a check pattern, which is an intro to the exercise that makes sure we're setting up the right sticking. For this one, we are going to do four eighth notes with the right hand, and then two beats of alternating sixteenth notes. Right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, left. The exercise as follows is this. A measure of eighth note and two sixteenths, one and a two and a three and a four and a, with the sticking right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Next a measure of two sixteenths and an eighth, one e and, two e and, three e and, four e and, with the sticking right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Up until this point, our right hand has been playing constantly on every single number and and. The next sections get a little harder as our left hand becomes the constant on the e's and uhs, and our right hand becomes more intermittent. The third part of the exercise is 16th, 8th, 16th. 1 e, a 2 e, a 3 e, a 4 e, a, uh, with the sticking right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. The last measure starts with a 16th rest followed by three 16th notes. E and a, E and a, E and a, E and a, with the sticking left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. If you're having an issue nailing any of the stickings in this exercise, one of the things you can do is you can airstroke the hit that doesn't happen in the four sixteenths. So for instance, the third one with the lefts on the E's and us is sometimes tough. And so we could go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. That way you build that sticking and you still have this constant feel. And then eventually you can drop out that ghost and have this work more fluidly. One of the skills this exercise helps with is the development of pulse and subdivision. I have two suggestions to help with this aspect, particularly with the fourth iteration going through. First, count everything, not just the rhythm, meaning that no matter what rhythm is coming out of your hands, you are counting 1 e and a, 2 e and a, 3 e and a, 4 e and a. This is a good habit for percussionists to get into in general. Second, tap your foot on the beat, or if you're playing drum set, you can play the kick drum while you do this. This will help you internalize that overall pulse and more accurately create the subdivision in your mind. Note that as the exercise speeds up, you should drop out when you can no longer keep up. Make note of that speed and pull out your own metronome and work around that tempo. If you can accurately get through the entire exercise, then you should pull out your metronome and find a tempo that is a struggle for you and then work there. There is a link in the description to the PDF handout for this exercise, as well as time links to where we actually start so that you don't have to sit through this whole explanation if you do this multiple times, uh, as well as to the 80, 100, and 120 beat per minute marks. Finally, as always, uh, the audio in the exercise is in stereo with the click in the left ear and the snare in the right ear, so you can do the one ear headphone thing if you want to get only one or the other.
Thanks for warming up with me. Feel free to use this video as much as you want, and if you're not a student but are interested in becoming one, head on over to autopercussion.com to find out more. Thanks. Let's hit it.